Hi there. Now before we go on to part B of this question, remember in part A we had to find the general solution of this differential equation here. And this is the answer we got. x equals a plus bt all multiplied by e to the power minus 3t plus 1 18th sine 3t. And for part B now, we've got to find the particular solution of this differential equation for which at t equals 0, x equals a half and dx by dt equals 0 for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then to pause the video and as usual, come back when you're done and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then. So if I'm going to do this, what we need to do is essentially substitute when t equals 0 into this equation, knowing that x equals a half. So let's just say that here, that when t equals 0, we know that x equals a half. And if we number this equation up here as, say, 1, then we're just going to say that from 1, what we get is that x is a half, so we'll put a half there, equals, and if t equals 0, then b, the b term here is going to go out to 0. That's just going to leave us with a times e to the power 0. Well, e to the power 0 is 1, so it's just going to give me a there. And then for this term, 3t would be 0, the sine of 0 is 0, so that just leaves me with a equaling a half. So if I put that back into 1, what we've therefore got is that x equals, for a, we've got a half then, plus the bt, and all of this is multiplied by e to the power minus 3t, and then plus one eighteenth sine of 3t. Now to get b, I'm going to need to use this condition about dx by dt equaling 0 when t equals 0. So I'm going to need to differentiate this next. So if we differentiate this, therefore we're going to have dx by dt equals, and for this first term here, we'll use the product rule. We'll take this part, multiply it by the differential of this part, and then plus, we'll take this part and multiply it by the differential of this part. Okay? So if we take this part, first of all, we've got a half plus bt, and multiply it now by the differential of e to the minus 3t, that's going to be minus 3e to the power minus 3t. And to this, we add, we now take this part, e to the minus 3t, e to the minus 3t, and multiply it by the differential of a half plus bt. Well, that's just going to be b. So put that there as being b. Now we add the differential of 1 18th sine 3t, and that's going to be 3 18th, or 1 6th cosine 3t. So we've got plus 1 6th, cos 3t. So we just border that off. Okay. Now all I need to do is just put this condition in that when t equals 0, let's just put it here, when t equals 0 we know that dx by dt equals 0. And if I sub this into this equation here which I'll call 2, we'll just sub in 2 then what do we get? Well, we get 0 for dx by dt, so therefore 0 equals, we've got a half plus bt, but t is 0, so that's just going to go, okay? So it'll be a half then multiplied by e to the power 0 there, well, that's going to be 1 times minus 3, so it's going to be multiplied by minus 3. And then we've got, for this term, e to the minus 0. Well, that's going to be 1, so it just leaves us with plus b. 
and for this last term when t is 0 the cosine of 0 is 1 so you're just going to get left with plus 1 sixth. So here we've got minus 3 over 2 plus 1 sixth that's minus 4 thirds if I add that to both sides you end up with b equaling 4 thirds. Now that I've got a as a half and b as 4 thirds I just need to substitute this into equation 1. So I'll just say sub a and b okay, into 1. So that leaves me now with this particular solution and that is x equals a which is a half plus b which is 4 thirds and that's multiplied by t and all of this is multiplied by e to the power minus 3t and then we've got plus the 1 18th sine 3t and that is our particular solution.